Now let's take a few examples on how to find first and follow. So examples okay, based on how to find first and follow in LL1. Clear? So let's take the first grammar. So the grammar is given as S generates A, B, C, D, A. Okay. A generates small a or epsilon, B generates small b or epsilon, C generates small c, capital D generates small d or epsilon, and E generates small e or epsilon. So we are going to find here first and follow. Okay. So we are going to find out the first and follow for each and every variable. So here, let's find out the first of S. So first of S is first of A, right? And first of A is small a. Okay, so first of A can be small a and first of A can be epsilon, right? So that means if I put if I put small a here, so first of S will be a. If I put in place of a, if I put epsilon here, so this will go vanish. So this will become b, c, d, e, right? If I put epsilon here in place of a, so this will vanish. Now this will become b, c, d, e. Now the first of s will be first of b, clear? So first of b is small b and first of b can be epsilon as well. So if I put epsilon here, so it will vanish. Now it will become c, d, e. So first of c, now first of s will be first of c and first of c is small c. So this will be the first of s, a, comma, b, comma, c, clear? Now. Now find out the first of A. So first of A can be small a, right? And first of A can be epsilon. So as we discussed in previous lecture, that first can contain or may contain epsilon, but follow does not contain, never contains epsilon, clear? So first of A will be small a or first of A will be epsilon. Now first of B will be small b or first of B will be epsilon. First of C will be small c. Clear? First of D will be either small d or epsilon. So small d or epsilon. First of E will be small e or epsilon. Clear? Now we have to find out follow of S. As we, do, as we know S is the starting symbol. So follow of S will be dollar. Clear? Now, fall of A. We have to find fall of A. So, we have to see where it, where A is present, capital A. Here it is present. Okay. So, we have to find fall of A. What is fall of A? That is B. B, C, D, E. Right? So, fall of A. If a variable is following a variable, then we have to take the first of this. So, what is fall of A? Capital B. That means we have to find first of capital B. And as we know, first of capital B is small b, right? So it will be first of capital will be small b and first of b can be epsilon as well, right? So if we put epsilon here, so it will become, if we put epsilon in place of b, so it will become like this. So we can just ignore it. So it will be a, c, d, e, right? Now first of, uh, now fall of a is capital C here. And so we have to find first of C now. Follow if A is capital C. So we have, as this is a variable, so we have to find first of C. First of C is small c. As we have already calculated it, first of C is small c. So follow if A can be small c as well. Clear? Now, 
Now we have to find fall of B where capital B is present here it is present. So fall of B is fall of B is C D B C D fall of B is C D E right. So as a variable is following this variable so fall of B will be first of C fall of variable will be first of C and what is first of C small c. So this will be the fall of B. Now we have to find fall of capital C where capital C present this is so it is C D A right so fall of C is first of D first of D is small d and first of D can be epsilon as well so if we put epsilon here so it will vanish it will become C E so first fall of C is first of E and first of E is small e right we have calculated already first of e is small e and first of e can be epsilon as well so if we put epsilon here so it will become only c nothing is there so fall of c will be fall of s because the production is like this now here nothing is present because we have taken d as epsilon and e as epsilon okay so nothing is present so fall of c will be fall of left hand side that is s so fall of s is dollar so here it will come dollar clear now we have to find fall of d so where d is present d, here it is present so it is something like a b c d and e so fall of d is first of e first of e is small e first of e is small e and first of e can be epsilon as well so if we put epsilon here so it will look like this nothing is present there so fall of d will be fall of left hand side that is fall of s fall of s is dollar so it will become this clear now we have to calculate fall of e fall of e is, e is here nothing is there so first of left hand side that means first of s so fall of e will be dollar clear so in this way we can find out first of all the variables and fall of all the variables let's take more examples based on this suppose the given grammar is something like this capital C small d b generates small a capital B epsilon c generates small c capital C or epsilon okay so now we have to find first of all variables and fall of all variables clear now <clears throat> so first of s first of s is first of b right and first of b is small a so it will be small a and first of b can be epsilon as well so if we put epsilon here so it will become only b right so first of s can be b as well and first of s can be capital c also so first of s is first of c first of c is small c here right and capital c can generate epsilon as well so if we put epsilon here so it will become epsilon d or d so first of s first of s can be only d as well if we put epsilon in place of capital C because C is also generating epsilon so small d so this can be first of s now first of b first of b is small a right and first of b can be epsilon first of c is small c and can be epsilon as well clear now we have to find fall of so fall of s will be dollar as we already know because s is not present anywhere else in the productions so first of s will be dollar only okay now first of b we have to find first of oh sorry i mean fall of b sorry fall of b so where b is present b is present here and b is present here right so fall of b is small b so it will be small b and if we find out this fall of b is nothing that means fall of b again so only b 
and if we have to find fall of C, where C is present, C is, pre C is present here and here, capital C is present here and here. So fall of C is small d and here after C nothing is there, so fall of C again, so it will be d only. Clear? So in this way we can find out first and fall of each and every variable. Clear? So in the next lectures, I will tell you why we are calculating this first and follow why it is important because we need these two functions so that we can construct LL1 parsing table. Okay. So on the basis of that, we can tell whether a grammar is LL1 or not, whether a grammar can be passed by LL1 parsers or not. Okay. That's why we are going, we are finding first and follow. So let's take one or more two examples based on this. So suppose the given grammar is something like this. This is a classic example. Okay. So just be careful and focus. So T drives F T dash T dash drives star f t dash or epsilon f drives id slash parenthesis open parenthesis e and closed parenthesis okay now we are going to calculate first and follow clear for each and every variable now, so first of E, we have to find first of E. Now, E is the starting symbol here. First of E is first of T. And first of T is, T is here, first of F. And first of F is ID. Okay. So first of F, first of E can be ID now. Or F generates open parenthesis. So first of F can be ab, uh, open parenthesis as well. So it will be this. Clear? So this will be the first of capital E. Now first of E dash. First of E dash, this is terminal, right? Plus. So first of E dash can be plus or first of E dash can be epsilon. Clear? Now first of T. First of T will be first of F again. First of F is ID. So first of S is ID or first of F can be open parenthesis. Clear? Now first of T dash, we have to calculate first of T dash. First of T dash is star or first of T dash can be epsilon. Clear? Now first of F is again ID or first of F can be open parenthesis. So in this way we can calculate first of each and every variable. Now we have to calculate follow and many students make mistake while calculating this follow. So just be careful. Now follow of E. So we have to see where, where when, when uh, in which productions E is present. Okay. E is present here as well. So first of E as we know, dollar will always be there. Right. And here E is also present. So we have to calculate follow of E. Follow of E is closed parenthesis. So it will be this. Clear? Now. Now we have to calculate follow of E dash. So E dash is here. So follow of E dash, there is nothing. So follow of E. Follow of E is, as you have already calculated, dollar and closed parenthesis. And follow of E dash is, already, is also here. So E dash, same. Follow of E dash. So this will be the fall of e dash now we have to calculate fall of t okay so where t is present t is present here in this production so fall of t is first of e dash and we have already calculated first of e dash is this so we can directly write here plus and epsilon cannot come epsilon never contains uh, follow never contains epsilon so in case of epsilon, if we put epsilon here, so that means fall of T will be fall of E, right? Because nothing will be there. See, this is the production T E dash. 
as e dash can generate plus or epsilon right so plus we have already written it if it generates epsilon that means we can write it something like this there is nothing here so fall of t will be fall of e and fall of e we have already calculated dollar and closed parenthesis clear and we have to see where else t is present so t is present here as well again it is same same thing because e dash we have calculated fall of t is first of e dash we have already done that anywhere else no no t is present in other productions so this will be the fall of t now we have to calculate fall of t dash so where t dash is present here t dash is present right fall of t dash is fall of t because nothing is there so fall of t and fall of t is this so plus we can write directly here and fall of t dash is again fall of this so this will be the same clear now we have to calculate fall of f so fall of f is we have to see where f is present here fall of is f is first of t dash and first of t dash is this so we can write star but follow does not contain epsilon so we have to put epsilon here so it is the grammar is uh, production is something like this if we put epsilon here so it will become this so fall of f will be fall of t again so fall of t we have already written it plus dollar closed parenthesis clear now where f is, uh, f is present here also f is present but it is same fall of f is first of t dash and first of t dash is star so we have already written it epsilon so if we put epsilon here so again fall of t dash so it will be same clear so this will be the fall of f variable so in this way we can calculate first and fall of each and every variable let's take one more example so that it gets clear to you let's let's consider this grammar a capital c b c small b b b small a okay and a generates d a b c b generates g or epsilon c generates h or epsilon so this is the grammar given grammar we have to calculate first and follow clear now so first of s first of s is capital a right in this production and first of first of s is first of a so first of a is d small d right and first of a can be capital b as well that means first of b first of b is small g clear and first of b can be epsilon as well right clear so if we put epsilon here so first of a will become first of c first of c is h and if we put epsilon in place of c so this is the production right b c so first we put epsilon in place of b so it will become c so first of a will be first of c right so we are just calculating the first of s only abhi okay so now first of a is first of c first of c is h so we have already written it now if we put epsilon in place of c so first of a will be epsilon clear so we can write here epsilon clear and if we put if we put uh, so we were calculating this if we put okay so now what we can do the first of s is first of c as well because there are, there are three productions right three different productions which are generated by capital s that is starting symbol so we have considered it now first of s is first of capital c first of capital c is h so we have already written it if we put epsilon because c can generate epsilon as well so if we put epsilon here so first of s will be small b right so small b clear now now this is done now see this first of s is 
first of capital B. Capital B can be first of B will be small g already written. First of B can be epsilon as well. So if we write epsilon here, so first of A will be small a. So this can be the first of cap, uh, capital S. Clear? Now calculate first of A. First of A can be small d. Right? And first of A can be first of B as well. First of B is g. Clear? And first of B can be epsilon as well. So if we put epsilon here, so first of A will be first of C. First of C is h. Clear? And first of C can be epsilon as well. So if we put epsilon in place of C as well, so first of A will be epsilon. So this will be the first of A. Now first of B can be G or epsilon. First of C can be H or epsilon. Clear? Now we have to calculate follow. Fall of S, S is not present in anywhere. So fall of S will be dollar only. Clear? Now we have to calculate fall of A. Where A is present? A is present here. So fall of A is first of C because it is followed by some variable. So that will, we have to take the first of that. Okay, so fall of A will be first of C. First of C is we have already calculated. So it will be H. Okay, first of C can also generate epsilon. So if we put epsilon here, it will be first of B. First of B can be G. If we put epsilon here, so both will become like this, epsilon, epsilon. So it will, we can write it like this. So fall of A is fall of S. So we can write dollar here. Clear? Now fall of B. Fall of B. Where B is present? B is present here. Nothing is there after B. So we have to take fall of S. So it will be dollar. And B is also present here. Nothing is present after B. So fall of S. Dollar we have already written it. Now fall of B is small a as well. Okay. And B is present here as well. So fall of B is first of C. First of C is H. And first of B, first of C can be epsilon as well. So if we put something, it will become something like this. So nothing is there. So fall of left hand side. So fall of B will be fall of A. And fall of A is this. So we can write HG dollar. We have already written it. Already written it. So this will be the fall of B. Now fall of C. Where C is present? C is present here. First of B. Fall of C is first of B. First of B is G and B can also generate epsilon. So if you put epsilon, so nothing will be there after C. So fall of S. So that means dollar. Now fall of C. Small b. Clear? And here also it is present capital C. So fall of C is nothing is there. So fall of A and fall of A is HG dollar. So G is already written. So H dollar is already written. So this will be the fall of A. So I mean fall of C. So in this way we can find out first and follow. Clear?